Hi and welcome back. In the last section, you learned about what exactly is machine learning and the concept behind models. Now we're going to put all of that knowledge into use by implementing an image recognition machine learning core ML application. For that, the first task is to get the model because without the model, our core ML will have nothing to work against. If you go to developer.apple.com slash machine learning, not only you will find information about core ML, but you will also find a lot of different models that are there for you to download. You'll find models like MobileNet, SqueezeNet, places for Google, uh, Latitude and Longitude, ResNet, Inception, and so on. Each of these models is a different size and obviously provides different categories. If you want to locate a scenery or if you want to find out if the scenery contains bridges or skyscrapers, you're most go probably going to use Places 205 uh, Google Net model. I'm going to use the Inception V3 model which detects the dominant object's presence in an object from a set of 1,000 categories. Now, these categories can be trees, animals, food, vehicle, people, and many, many, many more. Get started by downloading the model. So simply click on the download link and download the model. I have already downloaded the model, which is inside my downloads file. Once you have completed downloading the model, you can create an app to import the model. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to launch the Xcode beta, which is the current working version, which is Xcode version 9 beta 6. And I'm going to create a new project. Let's go ahead and select single view application and say next. And let's go ahead and call this image recognition uh, core ML. And let's go ahead and create it. Okay. Go ahead and build the app. This is a single view application and we haven't really written any code to it. Not a big deal. Now our next step is to start importing the inception model that we just downloaded. So let's go ahead and go to the downloads folder and simply drag and drop the model into your project folder. Make sure that you are saying copy items if needed and create groups. And also add to the target, which is image recognition core model, which is also the name of your project. Let's go ahead and finish it. And you will see now that the Inception V3 ML model has been added to your project. Now, the current version of the Xcode Beta 9 has some issues, and you will see that even though it is added to the project and we check mark it to add it to the target, but if you see on the right-hand side pane, it's not added to the target membership. And this is required to add to the target. If you, if you don't add the model to the target, then it will never create the class. Once you have added to the target, you will see that the model class has been automatically generated. So make sure that this checkbox on the target membership is clicked and checked for the model that you have selected. Let's go ahead and build it. Once you build it, it's automatically going to be added once you deploy it on your iPhone or the simulator. Let's take a look at these different configurations for the machine learning model. The name of the model is Inception V3. The type of the model is Neural Network Classifier. The size of the model is 94.7, the author, description, license. The model class name that has been generated in Swift will be called Inception V3. And the most important thing is the model evaluation parameters. This means that the model is able to take an input as an image and it will output the class label and also the 
probability of each of the items that it thinks it is. So if the probability is, hey, this is a remote control, which is a 60% probability versus uh, an apple, which is 10% probability. So most probably uh, the model is suggesting that the item that you're looking at or the image that you're looking at is a remote control and not an apple. One thing to keep in mind is that each model will take different kind of inputs and the size requirements are also very, very important. You cannot pass an image to the model of any size, but you have to adhere to the size requirements of the model. As you can see, that the Inception V3 model, the current model that we're using, requires that you send in the input image as the size of 299 by 299. This means that the, the model is going to work best if the size of the image is 299 by 299. If the image size is bigger, then make sure that you adjust the size to 299 to 299 because that is one of the requirements of the model. And that is pretty much it of loading the model into your iOS application. In the next uh, lecture, we're going to see how we can move further along of starting to use the model to detect the images. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much.